Okay, guys, it's a little after 6 o'clock. The batteries got fully charged today. Right now, we sitting at 56.0 on the voltage on the batteries. Let's take a look and see what our loads are. On line two, our loads is 400 and we jumped up to 470, 25%. Line one loads is 80, 82, 3%. All right, what we gonna do today is, I haven't did this in a long time, especially since I had this unit here. What we're gonna do is we're going to do a load test because I have a lot of people asking me about how can I run my whole house on this one unit and, and it runs. Let me, let me run down to you what, what are we running. We running all the lights in the house. We running the ceiling fans in the house. We are running the vent fans in the bathroom in the house. We are running um, a refrigerator, a deep freezing, a microwave, uh, all your normal stuff, two, two flat screen TVs, um, all your normal stuff that you use. We run um, a uh, pressure cooker. We run an air fryer. Everything on here. Haven't had any problems. Couple of times we up overloaded it. That's when we was using the washer, the dryer. Uh, uh, maybe had oh, oh yeah, we also have two pellet burners with blower motors on there, and the uh, it got the blower motors and it got an exhaust fan blower on there too. And uh, what we gonna do is I'm gonna go over here and shut these lights out. And uh, hold on just a second, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. I shut the lights down, and I wanted to see how much power we was using. And uh, this 480 watts, that's, uh, we got our internet routers running right now. We have our um, couple of digital clocks plugged up. That's running. We have uh, the two pellet burners is running. Uh, the blower motors on there is blowing right now. So all the normal stuff that you would have, cartless phone is plugged up into that. Um, you know, all your other little phantom loads from different stuff being plugged into there. That's what we getting right here. And uh, we go back on this one here is 82. So what I'm going to start doing, I'm going to start turning on lights until I turn on every light in this house, including the outside lights. It's uh, one, two, three. It's uh, five outside lights out here. And then inside of this garage here, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven inside of the garage here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is hit these seven inside of the garage and let's see what the power goes to. Let me switch it over, switch it back to here because I think it's going to register right here when I turn the lights on. Yep, it went up to 500, right at 500. Let's see what the load is. 20, 28%. 30%. All right, I'm going to turn the outside lights on. Let's see what it does. Now that right there went up to 31%. That's with the four, now the uh, five outside lights, seven lights in the garage here. I got another one here I'm going to click on. All right, went up to 34. Okay, hold on just a second. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pause it and I'll be right back. I'm going to go turn on the hallway lights.
Okay, guys, I'm back. Turned on the highway lights. Now we up to 600, uh, 31, 32%. I'm going to click on some more. I'm going to keep turning on. Matter of fact, I'm going to turn on all the rest of the lights and we'll see where we at. Hold on a second. Okay, guys, I got all the lights turned on in the whole house. Every light. And we are at 34% and uh, 690 watts looking like. So now what I'm getting ready to go do now, I'm going to go turn on all the ceiling fans. And I'm going to turn on all the bathroom blowers. And we'll see where we at then. Hold on just a second. Okay, guys, I got everything going. Everything in the house is on as far as lights, blowers. Uh, I forgot about our security camera system. That's running right now. We got our intercom system on the house. That's running right now. All of that stuff is, is in on here. And uh, let's see here. This was 80 watts. It's 273 watts, and this one here was 400 watts, and now it's uh, 780 watts. A couple of other things to turn on. I'm going to turn on both of the TVs, and then that'll be everything that we use in this house other than the little stuff that we use as far as cooking, like our pressure cooker or our... Uh, uh, the crock pot or something like that. We use that stuff on here too. Don't have any problems. But let me go turn these two TVs on. We're going to see how much power that uses. Hold on. Okay, guys. That's everything in the house is on right now. Everything in the house. From our uh, uh, security camera system, our, our cordless telephone, our, our alarm system, our... Um, intercom system uh all the the blower motors in all the bathrooms all the lights in all the rooms all the ceiling fans in all the rooms the refrigerator is running the deep freezer is running i got a water purifier system that's running uh it's a it's a water softener and a water purifier so it's two different units that's plugged up all of this stuff is running right now and uh we went up to 300, just say 400 on here, and 900 on there. So 19, 11, 12, 13, I say about 1,350, 1,400 watts. That's with everything on. Now, the only thing that that's not on that we normally use is the microwave. Let's go turn the microwave on to see what it does. And now the microwave is running. Let's see how much power is using. 1,520 watts. That's everything in the house. Everything that, that, that we normally use every day is running right now. I only set it for 25 seconds. You've seen it drop back down to 400 watts. So that's the load test, guys. That's everything that we normally have running. And keep in mind, all of this stuff don't run all at the same time. We never have all of these lights on like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut down to how we normally be running. I'll be watching one TV. My wife be watching another TV. All the lights will be out other than a couple of little rooms. Oh yeah, my wife's um, office, her computer is going right now, her desktop computer. Uh, the router, the internet router is running too. So let me start shutting some of this stuff down to about how we be having it, you know, every day. Hold on. Okay, guys, I'm back. 
we down to 13% on this one. We still at 34% on that one. That's because the two TVs are still going upstairs. My wife's computer is still going. All the other stuff other than uh, uh, ceiling fans are turned off. All the lights is off other than the light in the front room in there. It's on. And the uh, and, uh, hallway light in there. It's on. We normally leave that on. You know, so when you're coming up and down the stairs and coming in the house, you can see it don't use that much power. All the outside lights is still on, which is, uh, like I said, five lights. Everything that we have in this house is LED or, or energy saver. When we redid this house, we put all low wattage stuff in. So, yeah, that's how, that's how it is, and that's how we run it. But let me turn this garage light off in here, and we'll see how much it goes down. That's turning the garage light off. Let me turn the outside light back off. Okay, that's turning the outside lights back off. Now let me go turn these TVs off and I'll just leave her computer going and these couple of lights. Hold on. Okay, guys. I'll shut all of that stuff off. We down to 29%, 30%, 450 watts. That's running the two pellet burners, the refrigerator's going, the uh, deep freezer's going, the, the computer router is going, my wife's computer upstairs is going, uh, my, uh, got a cordless phone plugged in, that's going. Our security cameras and our alarm system, all of that is wired in. It's going right now. So let's see. 450 and 112. So 565, 62. I just rounded off at 65. This is what be running when we go to bed. 562 watts. And we can run that all night and not pull off the grid at all and uh, when we wake up in the morning when the sun is coming up see we only lost one point it was 50 it was 56.0 now it's at 55.9 we didn't ran all of that for that long length of a time haven't had any problems but other than that guys that's what this unit to do and the next video I'm going to do, I'm going to do a video on a review, my four-month review. I didn't have this unit for four months now. And I'm going to give you a review of things that I don't like about it, things that I like about it, things that could be improved on this. And I'm going to give you a um, pretty much a summary of everything on this unit here. And... Uh, Maybe that'll help you out. Look for that video coming up here shortly. I'm going to try to have that for you tomorrow. If not, Monday I will have that for you. Guys, enjoy the rest of your night. Thank you for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe, and leave any comments that you have down in the bottom down there. And I'm signing out. Have a good night.